Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Bansal and in this video I will show you a demo of the kiosk mode of SAP customer checkout user interface and the business process that we are going to cover has a lot of similarities to the retail business process. The cashier does a punch in to record his time. Of course, this is an optional step. Then he does a cash in which where he brings some money from the bank into the box and then he's continuously making sales of kiosk items in between he might see some reporting or he might withdraw some money from the box and at the end of the day when everything is done he will start counting his money to perform a day end closing and at the end he will do a time recording so as you see that the business process here is similar to retail that is why i will focus here only on the first three part time recording cash in and the sales process the time recording and the cash in are also similar to retail mode however the user interface for the kiosk mode for these two process is completely different and that is why i want to show you that the rest of the business process i have already covered in the retail mode of the product demo and here in the kiosk mode i will not show you that the sales transactions are posted to customer checkout manager the sales transactions are also posted to sap business one because these things i have already shown you in the retail mode so now let's jump into the product demo this is the user interface for the kiosk mode and the first thing that i would do is time recording i will enter the user credentials and then i can do a punch in now i will log in and the first thing is i brought some money from the bank into the box so i will do a cash in let's assume i have brought 500 euro so i say start of the day and okay so now the box has 500 euro here you see the sales screen of the kiosk mode and i have materials here from the business one demo database so i am connected to sap business one i am also connected to sap customer checkout manager the right hand side of the screen is completely configurable here i have put some product images however it is also possible to put here text or to design a much more complicated user interface for the kiosk mode so here to sell articles i can quickly touch on these articles and then they are added to the sales screen of course i can also do here normal operations like changing quantity changing price or giving discount but to keep this transaction simple i will click on exact amount and finish this transaction which means that this transaction will now be posted to sap business one and to sap customer checkout manager i will continue here and add some more sales item it is possible to also cancel an item by clicking on cancel item or i can cancel the whole transaction by clicking on cancel receipt you can of course also configure who is allowed to cancel item and who is allowed to cancel the whole receipt now i will continue and make some more sales and this time i want to show you that it is possible to pay in different ways it is possible to make cash payment it is possible to pay with card and it is possible to pay with vouchers so here i will make card payment so i will select mastercard and done this transaction is now completed i will again make some sales and this time i will pay with voucher to pay with voucher you need to enter the voucher id so you will actually scan the voucher id but i do not have a scanner with me right now so i input the voucher id number so you see the system verified the voucher amount from sap customer checkout manager and allowed to make payment with this voucher since this voucher was only 400 euro i need to also pay the rest of the money with cash and now the transaction is complete so here i showed you some of the basic operations that you can do with the kiosk mode of the user interface now i want to show you some more interesting functionalities that we support in customer checkout in kiosk mode however these functionalities are only supported when you run customer checkout in standalone mode which means without a sap business one system 
or these functionalities can also be supported with business one if you replicate all your material data in customer checkout manager so here in my screen you see again customer checkout running in the kiosk mode however this user interface has been designed a little bit more sophisticated with several tabs this is something that you can always do if you are running customer checkout with business one or standalone however you see i have here something called pizza menu and when i click on pizza menu the system understands that this is a set and it consists of a drink and it shows you what are the different options for the drink as soon as the cashier will select a drink it then knows that the second item in the set is a pizza and it shows you all the different pizzas which is possible to be added in this set and as soon you select these two article they are added in the sales screen as a set article and with a reduced price now i will post this transaction the second functionality that i want to show you is let's say you have added three different burger or three different item in your sales transaction you can click here on coupons and these coupons are coming from sap customer checkout manager in customer checkout manager you can create simple straightforward coupons and i have created a coupon which is called one item free and when i click on this then this coupon is applied to the current sales item and the most expensive item is given away for free this is something you do for your employees for example the third functionality i want to show you is automatic set finding so again here you see i am running this customer checkout in the kiosk mode but it has been designed a little bit different and here as i am adding sales item all the sales item are getting added in the sales screen i will now add the red shirt and as i now add the pink top the system identifies that these two articles are a set and it combines them to make a set which we call as automatic set finding and it also gives a discount on this set based on the configuration however the last three functionalities that i showed you automatic set finding or adding set items or coupon is only supported if you replicate all your materials in customer checkout manager as well i hope it gives you a basic introduction into the kiosk mode of the user interface and this is the sales process that we have covered thank you so much for watching